ZFR back here again today, and we are on the island where Siri um, stated that um, Avalat was hiding a secret laboratory or something. Um, he told her about it, but he didn't want to let her come with him here. He refused to let her. So, we're thinking he's probably hiding something in this garbage, and your friend Siri are up here waiting for me. I believe. So. Letters, closets full of skeletons. We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yepa Ligon. That didn't work. Oh, freak it did. Did it? What's happening? I'll take you. Oh man. All right, that did something, but not nearly enough. I have a feeling this will work. No, oh, what's up, Siri? He died. Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. I, I think I think we're doing the right thing here. What he didn't drop anything for me? Well that's kinda of disappointing. Alright, let's get inside. Is he still out there or does he come in already? Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. Yep. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. Ha! Huh. Very funny. Ha! Huh. Oh, man. So maybe he has a cross on her, is that it? Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. Hey, you said that. Wait, what am I looking at? Where are you, freak? I totally lost track of her. I don't know where the freak she is. Oh, over here. It seems someone was literally just here. Um, Avalax on the ship. We know that. What if he's not? Stop. Mm. A distillate? Smells like verbena. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Yeah, I have a bad. I have a feeling about Avalax too. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like he's. I feel like if I feel like he's not 100% guilty if he is guilty, but I feel like he's not being 100% obvious, um, true, truthful either. To be honest with you, like I feel like he's hiding something, but he's not. He, I feel like he's definitely on our side, though. Yeah. Hopefully, but you never know.
the freak is that? Is that, a, is that a family tree or something? That's pretty freaking detail. Genealogical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the uh. one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Um. Forget this. Not like we're gonna learn anything new. How can you know? I don't wish to read this either. I mean, it's interesting and everything, but so like he's keeping a chart of all the people who have had elder blood in the past, leading all the way down the series. I guess I don't really see where that gets us anything new, so I have to agree with Garrow on that. Let's see what Avalox really. Someone's there beyond the door. All right, someone's in here. That's interesting. Let's find out who to free. Oh, can I just go through? Who the freak is this? Freak are you? How did you get in here? Um. Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. Oh dang, that's that was kind of rude. You, I remember you from Tianalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Who the freak are you? His girl or something, I guess? Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. Oh, dang. It's incredible I saw... how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that, it's humiliating. Dang. I saw said, let's go. Word and I'll what you'll change nothing. She must do what she must, then Avalach will finally be free. Dang. Well, I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. <laughs> if he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Avalach means that much to you. What's that got to do with anything? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. I could handle that better as well. I still say you didn't actually believe him, dude. I guess he. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Um. Calm down. The elf was right. Uh, aren't you supposed to cheer me up? You carry Laura's gene. Nothing you can do about it. Inherited her talent and her power, too. That she elf would give up a century of her life to be you. Certainly didn't seem so. 
You were born with a great gift, and only you can decide how to use it. I don't. I could definitely pick a better conversation path through there. What's that? A necklace. Laura Doran's. It's beautiful. But. Yours to wear. Let's go. I'm sick of this place. Okay. Let's see what Avalux really That did not go well in my opinion. Not at all. I really should have said, said let's go back there in that conversation because that one elf, she said a whole lot of mean stuff, guys. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall, and I'd like... He's dead. He's dead, I'm Jacob. sorry. Siri, Skjall is dead. Oh, Last damn. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... To say goodbye. Ah, uh, I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon. All right. Mm -hmm. See you. It's weird. Um, we didn't. He doesn't actually have a grave, does he? Because the way I remember, we kind of left his corpse there in the middle of that garden of wolves. Just saying, guys. If you guys didn't see that episode, um, it was pretty much the episode. Um, I think it was. I think it was named "All Washed Up" and "Far Day with Siri." Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Level Thank thirty. You for I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. That lady is just like welling. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Gerald, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Um, I think if they did put him in there, I don't think you would want to go see that. That seems like it can, like, do some heavy emotional damage. Yep, there he is. And it does not look good at all. Jeez, bro. It's too bad. In case you don't know or if you don't remember, that guy that that guy that we just found um on the ground, he actually liked Siri and he helped her get away from the wild hunt. That sucks. Lots of hurt feelings this episode, guys. Lots and lots.